Hello everybody, this is Seethercord here, and welcome back to more Let's Play Super Mario Sunshine. Woohoo! Last time, we went and continued on with more of Bianco Hills, as you can see. Oh, not that. And we also got ourselves the first of the two uh, kind of secret shines they have available in the area. So now we're gonna go and get the other one and then start off uh, Gelato, not Gelato Beach, the freaking uh, Rico Harbor level. So, let's continue. Yep, just continuing with the series, because why the heck not? Bianco Hills, uh, we gotta go to uh, the Secret of the Dirty Lake. They usually always have the word secret in it when there's a secret level to kind of give you a hint of what you need to do. So yeah, so we're gonna go and uh, take care of this, why don't we? Let's-a go, as, they, as, as, the, as the saying goes. Let's a go, because I'm 100% certain. Wait, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, uh, yeah, we gotta get one, one more of these bad boys knocked out. So, let's a go. My brain for a second there thought, nah, you already, you already got that one. You know, self doubt. It's not a good thing. Got to work on that. Personal development issues. So that's cool. So instead of emulating this and trying to play on with my uh, gold uh, Wii Classic controller with the hinges on it, which is really cool. Uh, I now switch to using my Wii U Pro Controller to emulate this instead, because it's a little bit more of a comfortable fit, so I'm not going to have as many uh, issues with the GameCube controller emulation here. It's just weird because like the button format is like different sizes, so that can make it a little more difficult to um, play with, per se. And I got to go over here. Oh, dive, 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 dive. There we go. And we didn't make it, but it's okay. It's all good. And now, I don't want to get that because that's going to give us the rocket nozzle. And we'll still have the, the jetpack. And I have already been here. Oh, wait. No, I'm, I'm sorry. <laughs> I thought I was wrong, but I'm, I'm still right. No, yeah, we got to get this one. Okay, because we didn't get the red corner. That's just the old star. Shine. I'm sorry. They're not stars. They're shines. Okay. Okay, let's go. Over here. All right, come on, come on, come on. Yeah, cool. Let's go this way. So essentially, uh, as I was saying with the controller, or not emulating, I mean, uh, what was I saying? Oh, I almost missed that. Don't want that to happen. No, sir. And I uh, wanted to, um, what was I talking about? No, the GameCube controller, the buttons, there's like, they're different sizes. You know, you have the kidney bean, the bean shape for the Y and X button, and then the A button's super big and the B button's super small. And then like every other controller, if you emulate with it, they're all the same. The A, B, X, Y buttons, they're all the same size for the most part. Very rarely do they ever like change sizes. It was, it was a revolutionary that they then decided not to go back to. Okay. I don't know. Oh, come on. Yes. And my camera is all out of whack there. Oh. That was so weird to not play the GameCube controller. Okay. I really don't touch my GameCube controller that much anymore because I don't want to um, ruin its value. I usually have to resort to third parties and trying to get the best uh, third party controller these days can be kind of hard without breaking the bank, you know what I mean? Because controllers are so expensive these days, you know, really. You gotta get the, you gotta buy the game system and then you gotta find the right game. And then you gotta find the right controller just to play all of that, you know? It's getting harder. Just play games. Games aren't as what they used to be. Anyway, let's just uh, save and then continue on. And I need to create an, a backup copy file just in case this recording fails, so that way I don't have to restart the whole game or continue the Let's Play and then people will be like, why is the shine blue and not gold? But anyway, uh, we'll take care of the 100 coin missions later on in this Let's Play, but for now, we're gonna go and take care of Rico Harbor. I still cannot, I didn't mean to press the Z button, I meant to press R trigger, but I still can't run and spray for some reason. Alright, so, I'm gonna go into this perspective once we can. Oh. There we go, that's better. Yay! And we're gonna get this piranha, goopy piranha up again. You gotta do it each time for most of these levels. So anyway, come on. Nice. Spray number two. Yeah, it should be like... Either five or three for this one, I think. No, it's only three. Yeah, it gets more to five later on, but... No, we have a second round of it. Okay. So it's six. It was either three or five. It was six! It was six! I don't know. Anyway, I'm gonna turn down my headphones in a sec. So that way it doesn't make it too caught on the microphone. 
Microphone. Microphone. Microphone. Anyway. And there we go. We now have uh, this little area open, which I'll take, give you guys a look. You have these guys right here. The Tanukis. Like, welcome, welcome. I suppose you're here for that. Hmm? Yes, very good. This means I will require 10 blue coins from you. And there's 240 of them. We don't have anything. There's 240 blue coins in the game. And each of them, uh, each shine costs 10 coins. 10 blue coins. So there's 240, so it's 24 shines that you get from that. So it leaves 100. I couldn't do my math for a second. There's 196 uh, shines. Oh, no. <laughs> 96 shines left. I'm sorry. I can't do this today. Rico Harbor, episode one. Gooper Blooper breaks out. Say that five times fast. Gooper Blooper breaks out. Gooper Blooper breaks out. Gooper Blooper breaks out. Anyway. <laughs> Rico Harbor. Let's go. So, we got the new level. And now we're kind of like working on an... Uh, we're at the dock of an offshore oil rig. So we're going to potentially die. But make a lot of money in the process, you know. Like, very risky jobs that could end your life in any moment. Just like uh, underwater welding. You get paid, like, $80 an hour and make, like, over $100,000 a year. And that's awesome, but, you know, you could die any moment. So, there's that. Anyway. I almost took a job at an oil rig, but then I turned it down. Stick to my uh, current job, which I will not disclose the company that I worked for. Anyway. We're going to grab the Goopa Bloopa tentacle. And there we go. We have a cutscene. Ooh, widescreen. Even though I got it set to progressive scan mode. Yeah. Just burp. I don't know. Anyway, so the objective with this guy is Bloopa. You gotta spray his face. And then usually it's the the two closest to his face on the inside tentacles that he can still hit you with. So usually you can go for it and risk it. So you gotta pull his nose, the little plug on his nose to kill him. Yeah, I do it twice. But if you get the two in the middle, you'll always, you don't have to worry about getting hit because he can't hit you at that point. So, yeah, make sure you get his eyes pink first. And unless they um, slam you in the middle, that's the only way you can get hurt. But it's way less likely and less annoying to just do the two in the middle. And you gotta do two rounds of this. He'll give you all these coins. Coins money! To do that first, though. Come on. Come on. Can I go for the middle already? Probably not. Oh, can we get it? Oh, I did it! I didn't get hit. Did I take damage? Or did the cutscene end just where I couldn't get damaged? Who knows? Find out next time on Dragon Ball Z. -na 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 -na. I never watched Dragon Ball Z, but I assume that's what they say at the end of that whole... Find out next time! I don't know. Shine number 12! We're one-tenth of the way through the game. Yeah, shine. Wow. All right. So. Okay. Let's continue with more Rico Harbor, uh, shall we? That would be a fun little experience for us today. Yep, indeedy. All right, so. Okay, so with episode two, uh, oh, actually I need to mention, uh, we can't, I'll tell you in just a second. So Rico Harbor, episode two, blooper surfing safari. This one's very fun, but I want to quickly mention we can't do episode eight yet because we have to unlock, I'm not gonna spoil it, we have something else we gotta unlock in game before we can do it, so we can only do episodes 1 through 7 first, so... We're gonna go through here, but we got something fun with the Bloopa, so... We gotta ride it for this level, and there's different difficulty settings with these three bloopers, if you wanna know. So you have the green, the yellow, and the purple. The yellow is the standard, medium difficulty with it. The green is easier to control, but it's the slowest, and then the purple is the fastest, but it controls horrible. So we're gonna go neutral, because I'm not fully confident in myself with the purple. But I am, I, I would feel very uh, embarrassed to just use the green because of my uh, masculinity being threatened. Because I'm like, oh, you can't do that, huh? Anyway. Oh, I died. That's instant death, by the way, but I died right in cutscene transition, so I didn't lose my life. Cool. Well, who, you want to go for a ride, bud? Yes. Go ahead and jump on the blooper you like best. Go on. Show me some super blooper surfing and win yourself a prize. Cool. So, yeah. We gotta do this twice, essentially, and what you gotta do is you gotta, like, just try to avoid getting hit by the cones. Again, instant death if you get hit. And there's two shines to get from this. One from just beating it, and the other one for doing it in under, like, 40 seconds, I think. So, yeah, we're gonna do this again a second time right after this. Part of my brain is debating, like, whether or not to uh, go do the secret, this one, the second one for this after we get done with the regular episodes, but who knows? 
I might just do it just now because I might forget about it. <laughs> Who knows? Okay. Oh! Alright. Do it under 40 seconds. Sub 40, baby! Yes, sub 36.43 seconds. Cool. Oh, I didn't mean to... Okay. There we go. And there's the shine. I didn't mean to click the Z button. Again. Slightly tap it. There we go. What do you got to say, man? My guy? You bud! You bud are you what I like to call super deluxe cool. To commemorate the birth of a blooper surfing legend, this is for you. Thanks, buddy. And there we go. 13, how lucky. Cool. Shine. Yeah, he's like, yeah, we gotta shine, buddy. He's like dancing like mm -mm 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 -mm. <laughs> Excuse me. Anyway. Okay, the music was a little late for a second, but we got another level already unlocked. That's cool. Well, I already saw the last time I didn't say anything, but... Let's go back and do that secret level. For the secret chan. Yeah. Yeah, okie dokie. Okie dokie. Alright, so let's go back and just do it again. Awesome. Yeah. Let's go. Alright. Let's go back. And do this again. I should have done it with the other blooper. I'll try it with the um, the purple one once we get inside. Just to show how difficult it may be for a little challenge. How many lives we got? We got eight. Or nine. You don't count zero. So we got nine attempts. So we'll probably use half of our deaths. Half of our lives just to do this challenge with the purple one. Alright, let's go. Alright. Let's go. Purple. Purple. Yes, it's super fast, but it controls... Really bad. It has like a weird drift to it. It's like kind of a split, like quarter of a second delay. So that's gonna be fun. Oh boy. Oh, I almost died there because I look at the audio for a second. What am I doing? This is dangerous and I'm not looking at the TV screen when I should be. I am going to die because of my recklessness. 24 seconds. I just gotta make this jump. Oh, okay. Good. Come on, let's beat our original time, baby. Come on. Come on, can we beat it? Can we beat it? Can we beat it? Probably not. It's alright. Speed 40 seconds. Did I do it? Yeah, I got the shine. Cool. I wonder what happens if you don't beat the time. You don't get the shine just there forever. I don't know. And there we go. And then we got shine number 14, baby. Woohoo! Yeah. He's like, yeah. Alright. I'll just save it. Why not? Why not? Why not? Oh, Spongebob. Why? <laughs> Alright. Okay. Let's go back in and actually continue the episode. So we're going to go to episode 3 of Rico Harbor. Let's go. As Mario would say. Rico Harbor, episode 3, the caged shine sprite. The caged shine sprite. Irish wish watch. I am Irish myself, so I can relate on an emotional level to that. Yeah, it's all the way up here. You can get a rocket nozzle, but I don't think it's unlocked to just get it from the bottom. But the whole objective of this level is to climb this this whole cage to get to the top and then fall down to get to the shine sprite. Again, if you have the rocket nozzle available, you can just rocket nozzle your way up. Just get to the bottom and just go do that, but we don't have it, I don't believe. And I want to show how you naturally do it in the game. Now you gotta press the right buttons here while climbing. Yeah, you press, I think, B yeah, to hit it, and you press A to jump. Like that. Oh, I, I just fell. Okay. Attempt number two. Get a little hair time. Save us a little split second for speed run purposes. Hello. You hit B, you can hit the enemies. That's cool. That's cool. Oh, what? I didn't want to do that. No, I didn't want to. <laughs> this is so much failure. No. Attempt number three. Let's go, baby. Yeah. I'll go up here. Oh, I didn't want to do that again. Okay, there we go. Okay, don't get too close. There we go. I guess I'm about to take the barbershop pole. There we go. Uh, there we go. Yay. Go up here. Okay, do a spin jump right there and probably die. Don't want to die, though. Uh, there we go. Nice. Ah! Oh, this camera's a little weird. Yeah, the game the game didn't like the camera. Uh, people really criticized this game back when it first came out about its camera. Anyway. Okay, watch out. Alright. 
Boing, boing, and boing. Oh, watch out. And there we go. We've got to the top. Awesome. I want to land on the shine. Land on the shine. Oh, I didn't make it. It's okay, though. Shine number 15. We are now one eighth through the game. He's like, still bright. I got to close my eyes. Anyway, <laughs> that's Mario for you. Just randomly closed his eyes for a second. Anyway. All right. So, that thing is still threatening me. Anyway, let's continue with more of Rico Harbor. Let's go. Right now. <laughs> it's just uh, Mario's face, like the heat wave, and just like disintegrates and it just like turns into a puddle and then just goes through the portal to the level. Rico Harbor, episode four The Secret of Rico Tower. We got another secret, Shan. Awesome. Okay. Rico Harbor, The Secret of Rico Tower. Cool. Oh, I didn't mean to skip it. I'm sorry. I thought it wouldn't skip, but it did. All right. I thought it was the first time in here. You don't have to, you, you couldn't skip it, but who knows? But anyway, I was pretty sure it wouldn't skip it, but that intro cutscene by pressing A for the first time you could get in there ever, but it did apparently. Uh, okay, let's go over here, and I'm probably not gonna make that, but we'll make it here. Let's go in this hole. Go in the hole. And then Shadow Mario will steal our friend for the second of seven times. I think it's more than that, but anyway. Oh, I didn't mean to skip it again. I'm sorry, guys. But, uh, so yeah, so we got this level. This level was actually remade in uh, Super Mario Galaxy 2, which is cool. Oh, I almost died there. Uh, that's fun. Let's jump over here. Jump over there. And then get a little two one-ups here, so that way you can do it infinitely forever as long as you make it to this point. Can you let me grab you? Thank you. Now I gotta do with these little gears here. Yeah, they they um they remade this level for a level in a Super Mario Galaxy 2, and that was pretty cool. Back in the day, which that game is also, it doesn't seem like it's old, but man, Super Mario Galaxy 2 came out over 10 years ago. I think it was like 2011? I think so. So yeah. Come on. There we go. Ooh, there we go. And jump now. Up the jump down, touch the ground. Ah! Okay. Oh, come on. Yeah! Oh! Ah! Come on. There we go. And there we go. That was pretty awesome. I was My mind went blank just focusing so much for a second, and then boom. Yeah, you could die pretty easily here, but that's cool. Shine number 16. Awesome! <laughs> Alright. So... We're gonna go back in there, and we're gonna get the secret shine. So let's go do that a second time. That'll be fun, because the time is the time. It's time for the time. The times. The times, or the New York Times. Anyway, let's go back in and do the secret. Let's go! Yeah, we got like five shines already this episode. Wow, just blazing through. And now that I say that, it's probably gonna screw us over. I jinx myself, because I got cocky and arrogant. Man, we're so good. Anyway. Okay. Um, go up here. Oh, dang. I, I didn't mean to fall there. Come on. Alright. Go here. And go in here. Oh, pff, I almost fell. And I'll let you see the full cutscene right here, guys. Sorry about that. For the last previous issue error. Let's do it again. Little pimple we gotta hit. Yeah. Oh, I almost fell. That would have been hilarious, but awful at the same time. Awful hilarious. <laughs> okay, go over here. Okay, I got two. That moment when you're recording and then you forget about, or you think about something that's happening in your real life that's important to do and then you just like kind of go blank and don't say anything during the recording because you're thinking about important stuff you got to do tomorrow anyway okay that's fun we got five Get number six right here boing he takes mario's able to like bounce on wood and boing off of it like a trampoline it's epic seven oh come on give me some maybe there we go 
The last one should be over here. And if I don't die, it reminds me of Toy Story with the blocks or something. Like Andy's house or Andy's room from Toy Story. Which, by the way, as they're making this video, Disney has confirmed a Toy Story 5, and everyone's just like, why? No one wanted that. I liked it, but I was just like, this is not necessary. The fourth one, I mean. And then they also confirmed a Frozen 3 and a Zootopia 2, which... Frozen was alright, Zootopia was alright. I'm not... I'm, a little, I'm getting a little old for Disney stuff. Anyway. Let's shine him a 17. There we go. Awesome. Counting with Seether Cord. I think we have time for, I think, one more shine this episode. Then I will call it quits today, guys. Call it quits. Anyway. Here we go. Anyway. Rigo Harbor, episode five, finally. Gooper Blooper returns. So we gotta do another boss fight with Goopa Bloopa. Goopa Bloopa, Goopa Bloopa. He's up there. Hello. He's mad. He has a suck a pacifier in his mouth, which is a cork. <laughs> anyway. Blah, 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 blah. Anyway. Anyway. Alright, so we gotta basically get up there where he is, and we'll just have another boss fight essentially. And he can get knocked out, because he's a little more difficult this time around. Oh! Okay, bouncy, bouncy, bounce right there. And then bounce on an actual trampoline like thing. For some reason, a wheel is bouncy. Come on. Spray his face. Do it again. Alright, come on. And break his first tentacle off. Nice. Oh, come on. Ah, shoot. Come on. There we go. Come on. And I'm gonna fall off. Oh, I don't want to fall off. Come on. There we go. That could have made me fall, but anyway. Okay, that- oh, that was quick. Okay. Nice. Ah! I wanna get hit. Come on, give me pink eyes. Pink eye. Yeah, pink eye is the trigger point for where, um, he will, like, get hurt when you let go. If you let go before the eyes turn pink, it won't get him damaged, but anyway. Second stage of the boss fight. Here we go. Nice. Okay. Take off the first tentacle. Nice. Here we go. Oh, come on, boy. Come on, man. Okay. And here's the second one. There we go. Awesome. Get the second one, and... Let's hurt him. There we go. Awesome. And with that, he is now defeated. Yay, we hurt him. <laughs> Alright. And we now get another shine. Shine! It's so beautiful and glorious. Anyway. With that being said, let's grab our next shine. That's our last one for this episode. Shine number 18. Woohoo! Two more and we'll be one six way done with the game. Six of the way done with the game. They're not going to be as fast later on, guys. It'll take a little bit longer each one. So we're going to definitely uh, pad out this series for sure. But anyways, with that being said, and out of the way... Next time on Let's Play Super Mario Sunshine, we're going to do episode 6 and 7 of Rico Harbor before we move on to the next level of Gelato Beach. So, thank you all again so much for watching this episode of Let's Play Super Mario Sunshine. I have been Seether Cord of Seether Cord Games, and I'll see you guys in the next episode. Goodbye, everyone.